Hey, I'm Dr. James Kennedy, Sexist Foot and Ankle Centers. You know, a lot of my patients, uh, especially my patients that are a little more mature in age, need at-risk foot care. Why do we do at-risk foot care? Well, what we're trying to do is trying to prevent wounds and sores and grown toenails. If you look at these foot molds right here, I tell my patients at the very end, uh, God gave you a brain, use it. If you're having any type of sores on your feet in between the toes, like this, or if you're having what we call a hard callus or a haloma dura, or a soft callus, or an ingrown toenail, get those things looked at. You know, a person can have a, a small maceration on their foot where the skin becomes white and have a small little fissure. It can get worse. And people don't want to look at something like this, but we actually do see this every once in a while. A person can get a bad sore or a gangrenous toe. Um, I actually had to remove a toe a couple of weeks ago, so that's one of the reasons why we do at-risk foot care. So I'm actually going to show you how to trim a toenail properly, and people laugh at that, but really in all honesty, if this video helps one person from having a fissure, maceration, ingrown toenail, gangrenous lesion, for me, that's worth doing the video. So I'm actually going to show you how I normally do it. I, I have real high-end, high-quality Miltex nippers, and what I do, I actually trim toenails, and I'll trim a couple of them here. And before I start, I want to show you this. This patient actually had an ingrown toenail on the medial border of this left great toe. What happens is these toenails start to curve inward like this, and when they start to co co cover or come in inward, what happens is the toe starts to become painful. This can be caused from thick dystrophic toenails, it can be caused from bone spurs, it can be trimming toenails wrong. There's various things that can, that can cause uh, toenails to become ingrown. But if you look at this right here, I take a real sharp nipper, and typically it's painless if it's done right, but you go in here, and for me, I like to trim them um, with not much curvature to them. Now, there, I get a little bit of curvature to it, but everybody's nail is a little bit different. Some patients can have a little more curvature when you're trimming them, some people cannot. Some people have to have them trimmed straight across, and every patient that comes in here has a different need. So when you're trimming these toenails, you got to make sure that you're going to keep them from having an ingrown toenail in the future. Okay, so this is kind of the way it's done, and then when I'm through trimming the nails, I use a nail vacuum. Now, if you're looking at this toenail that I'm about to trim, right in here, okay, obviously she's had a ingrown toenail removed. I actually use a laser to remove ingrown toenails, and you can actually watch one of those videos on YouTube as well. But if you look at this one, the chance of her having another major problem or an ingrown toenail is really low. Now, you're removing that border. It may not look cosmetically as well as it should. However, the chance of her having an ingrown toenail are incredibly low. Okay. We have a nail burr in every room. And not only do we have a nail burr, we actually have a vacuum on it. I like vacuums for, for several reasons. One, you don't have the dust that you normally would with a uh, with a nail burr without a vacuum. Secondly, I think you can get them so much smoother. So when the vacuum turns on, what happens is I can get these pretty much smooth as glass. So if you watch right here. it's not painful at all. It might tickle a little bit, but as far as pain, typically my patients don't have pain at all. This is firm down, just like that. Makes them look better, makes them feel better, and it keeps the chances of an ingrown toenail coming back. So again, I really like it. It works pretty well. And then after that, I uh, use a small uh, basin here with a little alcohol with a pump jar. And if you do this right here, do this right here, it's right here with alcohol. Uh, there's no burrs, there's no jagged edges on it. And typically, 
patients are very happy. You know, you don't want to have a, a woman come in here and she gets her hose snagged or anything like that. Um, you don't want to have any problems with socks rubbing on it, but that looks much better than when we started, okay? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.